Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about the uh, entity framework in C Sharp. We will be doing CRUD operations with entity framework uh, into our database. So in this tutorial, we will uh, learn about inserting data with entity framework. So I'll close this this as well. Now if I uh, for entity framework. First, we will go to new get package manager here, and here we will search for entity framework six, and we will install this. As I have already installed this, you can see this blue tick. You have to click on this. You have to click this, and then this install, and it will automatically install. Now, if I show you my installed. Uh, Packages, so you can see entity framework here. So in this way, you can install it. Now, if I go here, so this is a, our form. So uh, I will drag in some controls to this. So I'll uh, drag in text box. I'll drag it. Then I will drag it uh, label. So. This is label and then I will uh, drag in button and I'll drag this button as well now I'll drag it to this side and to this as well and now I'll click on this and I'll use std name and now I'll expand it a bit and now I'll select these both, both of them. And now I'll control drag them to, to duplicate them. And now I'll control drag them again. And now I'll uh, drag this button here. Now I'll uh, change the text size of this as well. So I'll come here and I'll select uh, fonts. I'll change this to uh, 10 and uh, bold and OK. Now it is looking good. Now I'll change the text on this button. So first I will change the name of this button. So I'll change the name to insert. I'll make this small insert BTN. And now I'll go and change the text as well. So I'll go down and here I'll change this insert. Now the text is uh, changed. Now I'll double click on this to create its click event. Um, but uh, before writing code here, we have to go here into our project and we will add in a new item so i'll add in a new item now we have to come to this uh, data and select this one edu.net entity and i will make this uh, 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 model and now i'll click add now EF designer from database next and here we will select new connection and uh, here I can put a dot or I can put a, uh, alternatively I can come here disconnect this and uh, scale management studio and I will copy this this is my server name and connect and now I created by the way I've created the student table and uh, st table which has student id student name and uh, student f name and student city so i have inserted this one record now we will insert other records into it so for that i will come here and i'll control v it here now we have this so i'll come here to this uh, student db we have this student table in this student db and i'll click ok now i'll click next and now from here uh, i'll select the table in which we want to insert the data so i'll click this and uh, i'll 
uh, finish this. So now you can see it has created this is the table class, which is our table in the database. This one, uh, as you can see here is the table. And it has all to also created this model.edmx, which we will use uh, later. And this, now I'll come to this and go to this button click event. And now here we will uh, at the top, we will uh, create an object for our ST table. So ST table uh, model ST model equal to new ST table. And now I'll put this in semicolon. Now all your student DB entities steady student db equals new student db entities and now i'll put semicolon now uh, we will uh, use a uh, st model dot as we have uh, the std id but as we can see here, then I kept this uh, uh, STDID primary key and auto incremented, so we do not need to supply this. So I'll come here back and uh, we will use STD name and we will use that uh, for that text box one dot text and I'll put semicolon and then STD model dot set stdf name then text box two dot and text semicolon and similarly std model dot std city equals to text box three dot text and i'll put semicolon now so now here we will use student db dot uh, st tables dot add and we will pass in the uh, st model and now we will put semicolon here and now uh, uh, student db dot save changes and now we'll put semicolon here now we are good to go so let's run this application and let's enter a new record and let's check so now the application is running so if i insert here uh, m i k and here uh, goal and city is uh, karachi and now if i submit now we do not have any uh, come uh, message box here so we will uh, refresh this or select the table again or we will execute the query here so tables and this is the tables this t table and now if i select top 1000 rows so you know you can see mik gual and karachi is inserted now if i insert change this uh, name to Khan and this to Islamabad and now if I insert this and now if I go and uh, uh, execute it again now you can see and that record is also inserted so in this way we can insert data with entity framework so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you